Hi, my name is Mallory Pritchard, and I'm an occupational therapist as well as the education director for Culture City. Today, we're going to discuss some tips for introducing a mask to someone who might have sensory needs. Wearing a mask on a daily basis is a new concept for all of us. We first want to explain the difficulties individuals with sensory needs may have in response to this new norm. Some individuals have tactile sensitivities and might be hypersensitive to the way a certain fabric feels on their face or how a strap feels on their ears. Certain masks may cause discomfort to those with hypersensitivity to smell due to the fabric fibers or the recycled air the individual is breathing in throughout wear. Wearing a mask for a prolonged time can also cause our breath to become warm and damp, creating many internal responses. In addition to the physical barriers a mask may cause, there are also various social implications. Many individuals with sensory needs rely on the ability to see facial expressions or read a person's lips to actively engage in conversation. Because of this, Individuals with sensory needs may become anxious when entering a public setting with a mask mandate. When speaking while wearing a mask, the volume of our voice is also muffled. When paired with background noises in public venues, this can make conversations very difficult, especially for those with hearing loss or auditory processing needs. Before we begin discussing tips for desensitization, it is important to note that individuals with sensory needs might need days or even weeks to become successful wearing a mask. We recommend that an individual is never forced to wear a mask until he or she seems comfortable with the additional sensory input. Here are some tips on mask introduction and desensitization to wearing a mask for individuals who may be resistant due to sensory needs. Begin at home. Like many other daily activities, begin the desensitization process at home. Individuals respond better to familiar environments for practicing new skills such as mask wearing. Modeling. Individuals with sensory needs should see others wearing masks to help them understand that it is safe. Have family members wear masks at home to familiarize everyone with its use. If family members are not available, find videos online of individuals communicating while wearing masks for modeling. Mask variations. Have a variety of mask textures for the individual to touch or feel prior to placing the mask on. This will allow them to explore the tactile input through placing the item on their hand, face, and or mouth. Having numerous masks around the home will increase the likelihood of an individual picking up a mask to explore. When selecting a mask, try to think about a favorite color or a print that would be motivating for use. A mask lanyard. Many individuals who have sensory sensitivities related to mask wearing utilize a lanyard. This is a good strategy to use for an individual to realize the mask can be close by and worn when needed, similar to the concept of having masks lying around the home environment. It can later be a positive for an individual keeping up with his or her mask as well. Breathing and talking exercises. Once an individual is comfortable with the mask, Practice breathing and talking through the mask without it being placed behind the ears. This will help the individual prepare for the final step of placing the mask on for a desired duration. Practice putting on and taking off a mask. When the individual shows signs of readiness through exploration and mask selection, it is time to begin practicing putting the mask on and taking it off. Remember, this is a big step and an individual should not be rushed through this process. You should first demonstrate how to place the mask behind the ears on yourself or another family member, not the individual. Have the individual practice putting the mask on. It is important to begin with just wearing for a short duration to ensure that the individual is successful and he or she sees that it is safe and comfortable. Please note, if an individual does have motor deficits, it would be helpful to assist them when putting the mask on for the first few times. Since this is new, you want to limit the amount of frustration associated with putting the mask on. Changing the setting. After an individual has become comfortable and successful with putting a mask on, you are ready to change the environment. Some ideas for this would be going on a short walk outside, 
taking a car or bus ride while wearing a mask, or going to the individual's favorite store or venue. Thank you for taking the time to listen and watch our strategies to help achieve success with wearing a mask. We hope that you find these tips helpful and that we are able to help you with mask desensitization. Please feel free to contact us with any comments or questions.